like I'm making a corporate meal, treadmill for my dog and pit. And uh, I never made one before. I looked around on YouTube a little bit. I mean, there's really nothing on there. So I figured I'd just build my own. And I'd make a video of it. Maybe help somebody else out who's trying to figure out how to build one. They want to build one for their dog. This is kind of an overview of the floor, how it's going to be. I'm going to have these rollers on the end. This is just for support. And then I got it's a piece of paneling, but it's uh, it's slick on top, kind of like a dry erase board. And that's what's going to be on top of here. And I got these, I made it five feet by two and a half feet. I figured that'd be plenty of wide enough, long enough. And this right here is just it's four inch PVC pipe. And I got a landscape timber inside of it to drill to and hold to it. And uh, I got this, this is a piece of three eighths, like conduit nipple. This is what I'm gonna use for my bearings inside of the plywood. And I got these lag bolts to go in the PVC pipe and in through here to spin on. And uh, this leg is going to be bottom in, top in, the incline on it. Like it. I cut this like 6 inches and 18 inches. And I cut these 3 feet. I'm going to use this for, to make my stand with, for his collar to hold him on there. Like I said, I already cut all this, but uh, I got to drill my holes for the bearings to spin on and then these uh, PVC pipes. But I already marked, already, I'd already marked uh, all this, but I mean, it's common sense four and a half inches wide so it'd be two and a quarter mark that way and this way find the center of it you do that on both ends on both these pieces and then right here I wanted I wanted it to have some overhang right here so to guide the carpet that is going in and out and I think uh so like yeah two and a half inches and then I measured back two and a quarter off that line because that's how thick this was that was my center mark which is right here and then I measured the width of this it's a uh, it's one and five eighths this way and then four and eleven sixteenths off the end right here that's where I'm gonna have my centers and I marked all these pieces already and I marked my landscape timbers so I got to drill my holes in them and I got Got a 5 8 bit for this, it's 3 8 but I'm going to wire it out a little bit, but I want it to fit tight so it don't move. And I got this 5 16 bit to drill in landscape timbers, which is smaller because I feel like sitting there and fucking with this all day, trying to get it in the landscape timber. Then uh, that's what I'm going to screw in there. I'm going to drill it out first like a pilot hole where I can screw it in easy. When I'm going to do that, I'll come back. All right, well, I drilled my holes right here on the sides and drilled little pilot holes in these landscape timbers. And then I cut the nipples to put inside the two by fours. I'm gonna put them in. I tried to wallow them out a little bit so they'd go tight. Do this one, same one. 
got these washers because it fit a little bit a little bit loose and then I didn't want it to move around too much and actually the head of the bolt see kind of moves around I don't want to get hung up so I got some flat washers for that Next that thing yeah, I'll make it sell size and it's kind of sticking out. Make it a little better. And I'm going to screw these into here. Hey. make sure that this right here on the bolt isn't threaded because if it is it's not going to spin in this 2 by 4 or in this uh this little nipple here you know or in the metal piece well i guess it still would if it's small enough but i wanted it smooth so there wouldn't be no friction there. you don't want it too tight see you want it to be able to Spin more freely. A damn piece of wood. Let's back it up a little bit. See, you want a gap here. A little bit of a gap. So this will roll. So it's not. It's not going to roll as easy on there as good. It's going to be dragging on that 2x4. Hole is a little bit crooked, but it'll be alright. Uh, it should have the same amount sticking out on both sides here if you got a center. I'm going to do these other ones and then come back and I'm going to sit here and watch them turn screws all day. Alright, uh, I was putting these on and this is what I was talking about, like adjusting it. You don't want it to be snug on here. You want to get it tight and then back it off a little bit and then check it, see how it's rolling. So like this one, it's pretty good. I might back it off just a little bit. Give it a little bit more slack because you don't want it to be all, be all wobbly. Yeah, that's rolling. Both sides, you know, don't just loosen one side, then you're gonna have more bolts in there. Another. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna have to cut that straight, you won't have any problem. You see, all right, I didn't. I didn't finish doing this one, so I'm going to do this one too. The pilot holes, I mean, that should go in pretty easy. You know, uh, these bolts that I got, I think they're uh, like 3 eighths by like 6 inches long. And then the gap on them right there was the width of a 2 by 4 
on these landscape timbers. It probably would have helped if I would have did it before I put the lag bolts in. But you got to put some screws in it so to keep the landscape timber from slipping inside the PVC pipe. I mean, the screws I'm using on everything, three and a half inch wood screws. So I'm going to do that. It'll be easier. You got to find the top of it. So I said it would have been easier. File that down or something sitting a little bit there. I ain't taking them out no more. All right. So here's the top of the landscape timber. That's how it's supposed to go in. I don't know why this one. Probably be easier with a cordless drill too. But that's what I got, that's what I'm using. Side's rolling good. That one, that mark can cut a little bit off that PVC pipe, bro. Just hang it in one spot. Deuce, go on. Screw good. 